Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to Team Mystical Mermaid Light. This is a pick a card reading on how will your future spouse propose to you, okay? So today we have four options. Option one is Lapis Lazuli. Option two is the Mystery Stone. You're just calling it Mystery Stone nowadays. <laughs> Option three is the Rose Quartz. Option four is the Tiger's Eye, all right? I do want to mention that you guys might hear some noise in the background. I have three dogs, but they're resting. Um, my neighborhood is filled with dogs and cats, and right now I hear one of my um, neighbor's dogs um, barking because there's fireworks going off in the background because, you know, people like to have fun early. Um, we haven't even quite hit the weekend, but people in my neighborhood like to have fun. <laughs> and um, I'm hearing fireworks, so I think that's why the dog is barking. So. Yeah, you guys may hear some noise. I do apologize, but that kind of goes with the vibe. Fireworks, proposals, so maybe there's something about that since I... You guys heard that? See, I think there's something to that. Fireworks and proposals, since I just said that and then we just heard that loudly. That's the loudest one I've heard, so okay, wow. That's a sign. Okay, so I'm excited about this reading now. Okay, so I'm just going to take the noise as a message, um, depending on what I hear, what I get. I'm going to take it as a sign because I do believe that everything happens for a reason. All right. So I want to thank you guys for the comments, for the likes, for the shares, for the subscribes. I am greatly appreciative. If you like these readings, please like and subscribe. It's a beautiful energy exchange and it really helps me out. It helps me to continue to make these readings for you guys. Okay. I am also open for personal readings at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. If you're interested, feel free to email me. Okay. Also, I just want to say I love you guys. <laughs> Keep in mind that these readings are just for fun and just for entertainment, okay? Some of it may resonate. None of it may resonate. Maybe bits and pieces may resonate, okay? So take it how it resonates, especially if you are engaged um, already or if you're married already and you're just watching this for fun. Um, or if you're with someone you think this could be a, t a type of proposal that they would make, okay? If this would be some sounds like something they would do, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, but keep in mind, these readings are for fun. They're like dreamy, kind of romant romantic readings, okay? Um, I am going to be doing some more serious readings very soon. And I'm going to also be adding some more fun readings as well. So it's just going to be a mixture of serious readings and fun readings these little dreamy readings okay and keep in mind these are dreamy and just for entertainment pur purposes only okay they're fun so don't take it too seriously also 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 there was something else i wanted to say to you guys but i think it's slipping my mind i think i may try to get some charms for you guys in this one if we have time i'm going to try to keep this reading short you guys know me and i say short ends up being like two hours but hopefully this it'll be um this will be short so that I can, you know, give you guys some charms, okay? <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Let's get started. I also got you guys some guidance cards, too. Hopefully, I remember them. Let's see, let's see. Option one, Lapis Lazuli, yes. What is your guidance card? Should I give it your guidance card now or should we wait? Let's give it to you now and then maybe I'll mention it again. We have, it's okay to do that thing that you've been wanting to do. It's okay to do that thing that you've been wanting to do. That's, so that's just like an extra little guidance message for you, okay? Actually, I'm going to post this here so I can see it. All right, Holy Spirit, what will option one's proposal be like? Dear God, Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most purest, holy, love, and light only. How will option one's future spouse propose to them, God? Holy Spirit, be with me. Protect me. Please protect all my viewers and watch over them, Holy Spirit. Please bless them and, and protect them. Give them discernment and please bring in the right soul tribe. So fill me into their lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen felt called to say that so a lot of you are needing more soul family and soul tribe and they're on their way so that's an extra little message for you guys okay so this could actually be around soul family and soul tribe 
Holy Spirit, how will option one, those who chose option one, how will their future spouse propose to them? Your message from them is you have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, I love you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, I love, I love you from Pride and Prejudice, okay? So that movie could be important for someone, doesn't have to be. Just a little extra message. I wanted to be a little, you know, extra for you guys. Let's see what else. I'm hearing bewitched, bothered, and bewildered, Frank Sinatra. I just want to set the tone, you guys. I mean, I want to, I want you guys to feel the vibe, the essence of it. So go listen to Bewitched by Frank Sinatra. They're also, I got this in another reading, um, Set the Mood Right by Justin Timberlake. That could actually be in a, a part of the reading that your your person is, um, your future spouse, they're trying hard to set the mood right, trying to figure out what type of vibe they want. Yes, yeah, surrender. They're trying to make it relaxing and calming. They're trying to figure out how to make it as perfect as they can make it. So there's some preparation. Ooh, <laughs> that just hit my elbow. If there's a lot of preparation here with this. Yeah, this person is a little like giddy about it, as they should be. Let's see. Holy Spirit, one card at a time. How will option one's person propose to them? Oh, wow, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. The Seven of Cups. Yep, choice. Is this person trying to figure out like how do I set the mood? What type of vibe do we want to go for? Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Suffering, yep. This person is like up worried about this is what I'm hearing. I'm not getting the usual regular heartbreak. I'm getting the suffering as in I need to just surrender and allow this to naturally play out instead of being in my head. Confusion Choice, this person has been daydreaming about this, but they want it to be perfect and they're trying too hard. This is one of those people that will get like super like... um. They might be a perfectionist, but they get like super like anxious, like, damn, I got to make sure it's perfect. Okay. Okay. What if I did this here? No, if I did this here, it'd be too noisy. Okay. What if I did this here? Oh, that's too quiet. You know, and they're thinking about a whole of it. They're like, mm, I want more of a wow factor. This person would have even thought about what do they call those? Um, Oh my God. What do they call those where people just run up to run up to someone and start dancing? What are those called? Like when a bunch of people just like start dancing in front of this person. This person's thought about it all. Yeah, the lovers. Look, love relationship balance. This person is like, I want to make sure this is memorable. Six of Wands, see? Success, reward, achievement. They want to make sure it's memorable. They want to make sure that it's um something you'll never forget. But something that wouldn't... They don't want it to embarrass you. They want it to make you excited and happy and emotional. Um... I don't know why I'm getting this person feels like you've been through a lot and they just want to give you the best. Oh, this is someone so sweet. They want to like really wow you. They're really trying to work hard on this. So your future spouse is going to work really hard on figuring out how to propose to you. They're going to have several options, several different places in mind. And they're just, it's going to be weighing on their heart. You guys, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords. This person's like, it's like they can't sleep trying to figure out how to get this right. And I'm hearing they're going to get really anxious like the days before they, they try to do this. It's just like, it's got to be perfect. So I think this is not think. I know this is going to be planned out because this person is going to be thinking about it. They would have thought about it for the longest. They want it to be perfect for you. So I do feel like this person is going to do this in front of people. Possibly in front of family and friends. I do feel that way because I'm getting the vibe that there are other people looking going. Like they originally thought, what if I did this alone or what if I did this at a restaurant? But for some reason, I'm getting that they would want to do this um, in front of your family and friends. They would want to do this in front of um, people who you care about, people who care about you, people who care about you guys. Yeah. Huh. They want it to be something for the books, like something you'll always remember. Um, so they're trying to figure out, this person wants to have some some type of wow factor to your 
um, proposal to the proposal. So they're going to propose, but they they want it to be some type of like wow factor. So for example, you remember I said fireworks, right? In the beginning, we heard it. They could have something like fireworks go off for you, or maybe they'll have, um, I don't know, maybe they'll have a singer, like a, 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 a celebrity singer come through, or maybe they'll have like your favorite artist. There's something that they're going to do that is going to be like, okay, hold on, you did what? Like, not only did they propose to me, but they did this in front of family and friends or or just maybe it's either family and friends or just friends. They did this in front of people. And on top of that, they got my favorite singer. Like that had to be expensive. Or they did something where it was like, okay, I can't believe you did that. Like, wow. Remember I said, oh, flash mob. Is it called a flash mob where people just dance? This person is going to do something that's going to wow you. Um, so your, your um, proposal is going to have a wow factor to it. And your person would have been up day and night in their head, scared to the point and nervous to the point and kind of obsessive over it to the point where it's kind of brought them a bit of like depression. So you guys, and, and when you're together before this happens, you might think that something's wrong. You may think that there's something wrong in the relationship. You might start getting a little nervous. You might be like, okay, well, what's going on? Like, they're not telling me anything. Is it me? Like, what's going on? And so I feel like it's really going to take you off guard that, no, the reason why this person was, like, kind of quiet and in their head and distant. I'm even hearing that maybe you went to go out. Maybe you called them up and said, hey, what are you doing? They were like, I'm, bu I'm busy. I'm running errands or I had some business to take care of. And they're always coming up with excuses and you may have started thinking the worst. And it's all going to click to you that, oh my God, they were planning this the whole time. And I was thinking the worst case scenario. This person actually with your motivational card that says it's okay to do that thing you've been wanting to do. This person may actually have something involved something that you've always wanted to do but or something someone you've always wanted to see perform it's like something that you would have never imagined like showing up like you see how she's on a giraffe this show like a showgirl it's like having something like wild happen at and then you're like what like you did all of this for me um it's one of those shock proposals or being at a concert right and then the artist you know directs the attention to your spouse or you know something something wild or I, say you're at a like a game like a baseball football or bat no more like a baseball game or a basketball game something like that and this person proposes to you on the screen it, it's strange it's like okay wait hold on how did you do this how did you do this so I, it's gonna be really it's gonna be really nice is what I'm hearing they want me to get one of these hold on Oh my God, that's why they wanted me to do that. So I went to pick up this deck, right? But underneath it is, you know, this card belongs to another deck. This deck is underneath it. But when I pull, this card came along with it. But underneath it is proposal. <laughs> it says your romance is about to evolve and level up literally. So this person is going to get down on one knee and propose to you, okay? And they are going to have some type of like gift for you there as well. Some, some not just the ring. There's gonna be another gift there for you. For some of you, not all of you, of course, obviously. Um, some of you may have a ruby stone in your ring, or like a like a blue, like a sapphire stone, like something extra along with the diamond, is what I'm hearing. And then I just heard for some of you, you may actually prefer a different type of mineral except for a diamond, you know, instead of a diamond. So that's for some of you, not all of you. Now we have Jupiter. Expansion, wealth, generosity, confidence, enthusiasm, the benevolent guide. I'm telling you, the card that was that came out with the deck is material attachment. Your love life is being affected by too much focus on visible trappings. You have these two together. But I don't think that this is negative in this sense. I feel like this person is going to want to make sure that you feel very special. So their focus is going to be on the material possession. Like, okay, well, how can, you know, what's the best ring for them? 
um, you know, prior to this, you're going to be, they're going to be thinking about the ring, but I don't, there's something else they're going to give you it, gift you with, not just the ring. Okay. And, um, what, whatever else is coming is also going to be a, a shock, a surprise. So there, I don't, I, this is why I feel like it's in front of like family or friends. I feel like you're going to be dressed up and you're going to feel comfortable because you're going to be thinking that it's a certain gathering, maybe for another family member, but it's really for you. Um, yeah, other people may be in on this. There's going to be flowers, a lot of flowers, a lot of red roses. This person could ha even have butterflies around, you know, how you, they release butterflies. It could be a lot going on, but it's so pretty. It's almost like a garden scene. I don't know why they're showing like a garden scene. So this could be like a venue where, um, it's a lot of seating outside, but underneath something and it looks very romantic and classy and almost like a, um, outdoor wedding kind of vibe, but it's, it's small. It's, it's not too small though, but it's small enough to host like a small enough to be kind of, um, private, but big enough to host a party. I hope that makes sense. Like a, a party. So... I'm thinking like a party of 50 or maybe less than that. Um, just people just hanging around, having fun. Um, it could be even a party of 30 or 20. But I'm getting like people sitting at tables and there's like like heated lamps and lighting and um, like lamps and beautiful like light lighting around and nice. Um, I'm seeing like the table, like the... The dining, like the 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 sets. I don't know what that would be called. What is it called? You know, like the like the mat, not the mat, but what they the table placement is going to be nice because they're showing like this long piece of cloth draping over a table, and it's at all the tables. There's candles. There, it's just nice. It's really nice, and um, this almost feels like an engagement party. That's what's wild. This feels like an engagement party. So. Is it possible that you're going to be proposed to and then have a, and you realize that you are at your engagement party? I mean, that would kind of be, this person would be confident to think that oh, she, she or they are going to say yes. Um, but it's like some type of gathering and it just feels very comfortable. You're, you're dressed nice. Everyone's dressed nice. This is where this person is going to propose. It could even be someone else's gathering. But I feel like there are people who are in on it. Like they know. So keep that in mind. This is going to be very expensive. Whatever this person is going to do is going to be very expensive. I, I strongly get that. It's going to... Um, this person put a lot of effort and time into this. Okay, let's see what else. What else can I get for you guys for this beautiful, special proposal for you? I'm going to pull from this deck. How will option one's future spouse propose to them? Ah, okay, okay. Hold on, you guys. Let me get the rest so I can read this. Woo. Yep, definitely in front of people. Definitely. Yeah, this offer, it's going to be very slow. You're just going to be relaxed. I'm like, okay, this is just a, a regular, you know, well, not really a regular day, but it's like a, an outing. You just feel like, well, we're out. You know, we're, we're all having fun. We all look nice. And you may be taking pictures. Oh, what a beautiful card. <laughs> Except for the little girl who's mad in the back. So there could be someone jealous of this proposal as well. Because there are people looking on. I keep telling you people are going to be watching. This person's going to take their time. I'm hearing they're going to be chatting and talking and all of a sudden. It's like they're going to wait until they have the floor to say something. Like, you know how people will be talking back and forth. It's like they're going to wait until it kind of quiets down. Then they're going to say something. And then all of a sudden they're going to look at you. They may make a, a, a joke. Because I feel like this could be witty. This person could somehow propose to you in a witty way. Maybe they're going to say something and then they're going to get up and they're going to kneel. And you're going to be like, what? Like, okay, hold on. I know they did not. I see you laughing and smiling and in shock and just like looking around. I see people smiling. I, I really do see like several people who are smiling because they knew. They knew this person was going to propose. And then some, the rest of the people are in shock. And I do feel like there could be like two people who are not happy about this. 
kind of like either someone could be mad that maybe they didn't know about it. Like maybe there were some people that were chosen to kind of know. So they could be like one of those jealous people who were like, well, why didn't they tell me about it? You know, or why wasn't I included? Or this could be someone who's just like jealous. Okay. So, wow, that's kind of interesting. Let's see what else I can get for you guys. What will this proposal be like? Ooh, okay, well. <laughs> Burning desire, flames of passion, ignite. <laughs> you guys got the most sensual sexual card in the deck. Um, so, yeah, you're definitely going to be feeling the passion after this because you're just going to be feeling like, man, this person works so hard, okay? Look at this. You have honest communication. Someone will be reaching out, expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This person, would, you're going to be like, man, they work so hard to, to make sure this was perfect. How sweet of them. You're just going to be feeling so, like, I just heard enchanted. Like, oh, this is so beautiful. I can't believe they did this. So nice that you're going to even feel like, you know what, when I get them back, like, I just can't wait to, I think you just wanted to, you wanted to kiss them. You wanted to hug them, hold them. Um... But I think you're being polite because you're in, you guys are in front of a bunch of people. So it's like as soon as you guys have some alone time, you guys are going to be like embracing and, and kissing each other. I'm getting this embracing like and, pe and some people may still be around to see that. But you guys are going to try to kind of, you know, move away a bit from others so you guys can have this moment. So I do think that after you say yes or um yeah they're saying after you say yes you guys are going to kiss and hug but it's like it's it stops because you guys want to be more passionate with each other so this card says four and um so this is stability and it says you can do anything you choose that's exactly it the two um swans here are really um symbolic for me um soulmate energy so yeah, with the unicorn here, here they're going to definitely do this in a unique way. Something that's different. Different but balanced out. It's like they've, they've weighed the pros and cons and of decisions and choices of how they could do this. And then finally they chose. With I just heard with help from friends. So yeah. Because they wanted it to be perfect. And we have honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. 38 so what they're telling me because you have two cards talking about communication and this is 11 wow what they're telling me here you guys you guys are definitely going to be wearing a dress when this happens i'm a really nice dress you guys this you guys are going to some type of event you're going to be in a dress they're going to be dressed nicely as well but what they're saying to me and this could even, um, like, I remember I said there could be, like, lights and lamps. This could happen, like, in the evening to, and then it kind of lead up um, during night. We do have the moon here. We have we still have women in dresses at nighttime. And she has on, like, a, um, a shawl. So, yeah, it's like, or like a pea coat. I don't know what this is. What is that? I forgot what they're called. But anyways, um, yeah, so it could be a little bit chilly and I feel like you might have something to kind of wrap around you when it gets cold. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so this could happen during a certain time. I'm giving you guys a time frame. It could be like from the evening to night. But there's going to be a lot of strong communication going on. Oh my God, there's fireworks in the background, you guys. Look at that. Fireworks. Do you see that in the corner? See? So going to be a place where there's a, a really nice scenery a nice venue water fountains i just heard um like like really nice water fountains there might even be like a lake or something with swans nice scenery very peaceful very quiet but they're what they're showing me now is your person um your future spouse there's going to be communication at the table right everybody's going to be talking they're going to wait for it to get quiet. They're going to start talking. They're going to make jokes like throughout what they're saying, like little like little remarks that are going to make people giggle. 
but ultimately this person is going to start saying how much you mean to them and how they feel about you and how ever since you've come into their life how they feel like oh my god no they did not just say this <laughs> this is so corny you guys they said my whole life has changed you guys remember that song since you came in something i knew back then you were that special one i'm so in love so basically so deep in love oh wait 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 you make my life complete you are so sweet yeah glad you came into my life something okay so they just cut me off and gave me that song and i said i sung it so horribly but you guys get the drip you get the vibe so they're going to be talking about how ever since you came into their life you you've just helped it oh yeah he says in that song he says what does he say he does he say god has blessed me or something he said god has been so good to me so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy baby share my world share my world listen to that song is it differences you guys that's that's like your song okay that explains how your person is going to feel during this proposal okay so wow that came in so like strong you guys like i don't even know what to think about that like <laughs> i'm like okay that just changed the whole vibe look demonstrate love find out what is important to those you love and act on it so i'm telling you they're gonna take their time trying to figure out what would you like i'm hearing what what would they like the best it's like they know what you like but what would you like the best so because of this they're going to try to get information out of other people like okay i have this idea do you think i should do this so whoever is close to you look love oh my you guys got the love card whoever's close to you they're going to be talking to love look at that looks you see how that's the venue the pillars this is the vibe i'm getting the flowers you see some water that's kind of like the vibe the setting that i'm getting you have all these flowers in your card so you guys um this could be happening during spring to summer new beginnings that it's this it's the first step to new beginnings that's what i just heard first step wow this is really beautiful you guys i love this i love this a lot oh my whole life that song he's playing oh my my whole life has changed since you came in i knew back then you were that special one i'm so in love so deep in love you guys there could be a chariot you're showing me this card right see how they're in the chariot and little girls looking all jealous you have a six of wands which makes which always makes me think oh my god there's an ace of pentacles i'm telling you there's so much money that oh my god the sun oh my god the emperor yo this person really worked hard they put a lot of money a lot of effort into this just to make you happy oh wow yeah there that ring is gonna be big i just heard that ring is gonna be huge why did they just say rockefeller records Oh, rock. Get it? The diamond? That makes sense. Okay. You guys... Oh, Jay-Z. Oh, that's why. Okay, so do you remember which Beyonce song is Is it where he says um, something about you can't even fit your hand in your new purse? It's humorous to me how they rock my fi uh, filoso. Oh, baby, you ever seen something? No, not the, not the stars, but everywhere we are. She level something. I level something i order yours tomorrow now look at the time i saved you mama let me upgrade you it's upgrade you upgrade you this person is like let me upgrade you because he said that rock on your finger is like something like a tumor you can't fit your hand in your new purse that that ring is gonna be huge that's crazy how they just gave me that that rock is gonna be huge but no the reason why i was getting the chariot and the six of wands is like the six of wands is person's on a horse and he, they're look, being looked at kind of like this they're being looked at like an amazement so 
this person may actually um, have someone like have a chariot or something come. Like this is crazy. Like this person is going to surprise you with something. Like maybe a, a chariot ride. It's something unique. Something very unique as like a pro an extra proposal gift. Okay. <laughs> That's sweet. And then you guys are going to try to sneak away. Like, how are you going to sneak away when people know what you're doing? Come on. You guys are going to try to sneak away. Maybe that's why they they have this chariot come so that you guys can have, like, a time. You know, one, for pictures, for memories. But two, where you guys can have time to just kind of, like, I guess, kiss or have this romantic moment together. But it starts at a dining room table. You guys are going to be, like, at, outside on at this table with other people that you know. Okay gonna be a lot of love here a lot of passion and remember you have bewitched me body and soul i love i love i love you that's really nice okay so let's see what your charms are you guys because i am like so curious to know what we can get from the charms We have the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so for some of you, this could be on location or maybe during a trip. We have a reindeer, which means that Christmas could be symbolic or maybe something with deer. Maybe it's somewhere where there's deer, where there's like a lot of wildlife. Or this could represent that you guys could end up marrying by December, by near the holidays. You could have a winter wedding. Look, a rose. You guys kept getting all these flowers and roses. So maybe, like I said, this might be like a garden somewhere where there's roses and flowers. Like somewhere where there's like a lot of different flowers. We have cherry here. So someone, um, <laughs> someone could be a virgin. You don't have to be though. But cherries, maybe someone likes to um, tie like the cherry, you know, uh, stem with their mouth, with their tongue, or maybe just represent sweetness love isn't that beautiful you guys have love here we have the initial m we have the peace symbol so it's going to be very peaceful we have a cloud so I, yeah i do feel like it's when the sun has gone down and it's like it's starting to get it's starting to become darker i'm hearing head in the clouds like you're gonna feel very dreamy so we have rr we have c o i and n okay we have corn. Corn. Okay. I corn. Okay. Hmm. Rock. Even though we don't have a K. Rock. We have Ron. Iron. Hmm. Iron. I just heard ironic, ironic. Nori, nor no, okay, core. I don't know why I just heard rice. Hey, isn't that a tradition where they throw rice at weddings? Rick, Nick, nice. I heard Norway, Norwegian. Okay, what's going on? I just heard Nick, senior Nick. Ren, Rio, we have Rio. And now I'm getting Dior, we have Dior. Well, without the D obviously, but I'm hearing Dior. So maybe that might be symbolic that maybe someone might wear something that's Dior. Because I do feel like this is a fancy occasion. Um, ink. We have ink. Maybe someone owns some type of company. Roar. Let me get another charm. We have a feather. Protection. Color swab. Design. Decor. The aesthetic. The feel of the place is going to be very nice. Very nice. Very colorful. 
See if we can get any more letters. What else do we have? I just heard fire. I'm hearing Start Me Up by the Rolling Stones, you guys. Start Me Up. So, I just heard Don't Make a Grown Man Cry. Rory. Rory, we have, I'm getting Florida. We have Florida, even though we don't have an A. Florida. Flowers. Flora. Flora, flowers. Flor. Is there something in French? Floor, the floor, or some floor. I don't know. Or, orca, orchid, orca, orc, or, or, you guys, on zinc. We have zinc. Okay, what else? Blink. Something with jewelry is big here. Obviously, the ring is going to be, you know, a big part of it. Hmm, let's see what else. I'm hearing never lonely, like never alone again. Someone could have flew in is what I'm hearing. Flown in once. It's going to feel like a fairy tale because this just made me think of like once upon a time. Like once upon a time. It's going to be a lot of flirting. <laughs> a lot of flirting between you two. Okay. It's her fence. They're, they're going to be nervous. They may even think about, okay, what if I back out of this? Like, is this the right time? Is it the right time? They're just in their head. Like, will they say yes for once? Flirt. I just heard tiltillating. Is that the word? Tiltillating? Let's see. Let me know if you guys see anything. I'm not seeing anything else. Let me know, you guys, okay? Hmm. Okay, that's what I have, you guys. I like this. You guys, are gonna, it's, it's gonna be feel sweet, playful, shocking, and then it's going to be very passionate, okay? very passionate i just heard i can and i will that's what i heard a lot of love here this person is in this from the bottom of their heart that's why they're so nervous because they have so much love to give all right that's what i have for you option one if you like this reading if it if you just enjoyed it if you watched it all the way through or um if you thought it was just fun in any way Please feel free to like and subscribe. It would greatly, greatly help your girl out. And I would greatly appreciate it. It would be beautiful energy exchange. All right. Have a good one. Option two. Option two, you chose the mystery stone. Mystery stone. And your guidance message, your inspirational card, motivational card is... Follow your dreams and help will find you in unforeseen ways. Follow your dreams and help will find you in unforeseen ways. Always follow your heart, you guys. Always follow your dreams. Take the first step even if you don't know how it's going to happen for you, all right? Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most purest holy love and light only. Help me to give clear, accurate guidance to those who chose option two. How will their future spouse propose to them? How will their future spouse propose to them? In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. I feel called to do something a little differently for you guys. Start here. How will your future spouse, all of those who chose option two, Holy Spirit, how will their future spouse propose to them? 
You have the eighth house, which talks about transformation, reconsideration, sexuality, death, and money. Okay. Some Scorpio energy. Very uh, mysterious. I do feel like you guys are going to be alone when this happens. Very different from option one. I feel like you guys, you two are going to be alone. This person may take you somewhere that's quiet, where it's just you two. So either they're going to know the timing of somewhere, um, or they're going to rent somewhere out, because I feel like it's going to just be you and them, okay? And they're going to do this. It says, you make me happy. Even when you're awful, I would rather be with you. Even the you that you seem to think is diminished than with anyone else in the world. Me before you. Okay. Yes, some Scorpio energy. Okay, let's see what else I can get. Look, we have this at the bottom of the deck. Changed. I forgot what movie this is, where he plays the, the music outside. This became popular though, right? It's still popular to this day. It's an iconic scene. So this person may play music for you. They may have music set up or they may um, have a certain song that they want to play for you. Just to kind of, you know, get in the mood, get the vibe right. As I just said, get the vibe right. Get the, get the, the feeling going. Let me get one from this deck for you guys. How will option two's person propose to them, Holy Spirit? How will option two's person propose to them? Unplug. See, you guys are going to be alone. Look, shapeshifter. Changed. Something changing. You guys are going to be out in nature alone. Look at this. And what's crazy is they, they're both wearing like green dresses. That's kind of strange. Yeah, you guys are going to be out in nature alone. This person is going to propose to you. You guys are going to unplug. You guys may not even have your phones uh, on you. Or maybe they're turned off. You guys are going to be out. And it's just going to be silent. That's what I'm hearing. It's going to be silent. Quiet. Relaxing. I'm hearing getting a breath of fresh air. Let's see what's going on here. How will option choose person propose to them? We kept getting changed. We have changed and we have shapeshifter, which to me is change. And then the transformation. Scorpio's here. Tower. Ta Scorpio's here again. Danger, destruction, disaster. Okay. How will option choose person propose? Why wow, you guys got the actual top of the deck? I forgot to take that out. <laughs> it's always fun. Six of Cups. Healing, restoration, memories. Okay. Ace of Cups. Emotions, intuition. This person is going to use something or say something that has to do with your childhood. Something that's nostalgic. Something that is important from your childhood. But it may make you emotional. So, for example, if you if you have a, a, a loved one that passed away, especially with the Scorpio card here, 8th house, tower here. If you have a loved one that's passed away um, that was close to you or even a friend... Um, that, that was very close to you, somehow this person may incorporate the memory of that person into their proposal or they may speak of it or they may even say that they they prayed or they um, left flowers at their grave to ask for their wishes, you know, or um, it just feels like they're showing some type of respect to someone that's close to you guys. Um, something that has happened in your childhood that hurt, something that's still on your uh, mind it it could even be something you lost like for example say you lost a piece of jewelry somewhere you're walking or you don't know what happened to it it was important to you and um this person you know gets some you know maybe they buy something for you that it's not the same thing but it 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 has memory of whatever it is you lost so your ring could even be important like say if you um had a past on level and you were extremely close to it, 
this person could have had something made in the ring that also represents that person being with you or they could gift you with something that um has to do with that person along with this ring okay it's kind of very um straight to the point for someone but i feel like this has to do with someone that has either passed away something that has made you sad so it's either the passing of someone or even like a friend or or a pet or a um yeah or a grandparent even a parent or sibling it's like someone you wish would have been there maybe you've told this person that man i always wish that you know so and so would have been here if if when i got married or whatever and um you know like that was a dream of yours that when you would get married this person would be there or whatever and this person is going to be thinking about that before they propose to you so they just remember you you saying this a while back and um they're going to somehow involve this person's memory or whatever whatever this is that you missed from your from your past okay um this could even be them like having some type of projector up with like a picture of this person i don't know what this is but it makes you it's like a mem like a paying homage to a certain part of your life like or a person in your life or something from your um past that is very um memorable for you something nostalgic something that you cared about something that makes your heart flutter seven of wands defense yeah determination to change and courage so very protected i'm telling you this is going to be just you two because they want it to just be kind of like intimate like this is private it's intimate it's between me and them we we can be emotional with each other this is going to shock you with the tower card it's going to come out of nowhere you could even sus suspect you could watch this and think oh they're going to propose because i saw this reading nope this person is going to try to shock you you're tr going to try to like sneak this surprise you um out of nowhere but this could also be spontaneous where they've carried the ring on them for the longest and they've just been waiting for like okay when when does it feel like that perfect moment to ask so they're gonna be kind of guarded but they're gonna be trying to watch you to pick up any clues signs that you're relaxed that they could possibly do this when's the right time i keep hearing that when's the right time when should i do this you're the higher font religion tradition society Mm-hmm. Def I feel like there's definitely some type of guide angel that's trying to help with this. I don't feel, even though we have the Hierophant here, I don't necessarily feel like this is traditional. Something's a little different about this. Okay. And not in a bad way. It's just like something's different and they're not telling me like what this different aspect of it is so it's definitely something out in nature just you two can i have one card please how will option two's proposal be like what how will their future spouse propose to them holy spirit freedom this relationship allows you healthy space and room to breathe okay so there's a lot of freedom unplug hmm open your heart love is the highest energy of all let it in so you guys could be playing i know this is going to sound strange but playing outside maybe someone has a dog or a cat um they keep showing me this shapeshifter card so maybe you guys are just gonna be out taking the dog for a walk or dogs for the for a walk if you have several or i don't know it just seems like you guys are outside and it's just peaceful it's so peaceful and this person person just decides like man life is short it could even be that something's happened in the world um when this has occurred something's happened in the world or maybe um maybe someone um is ill in the family or maybe someone has an ill friend or it's like you know you've heard something on the news or it's like you all of a sudden you decide you know what this 
let's just do this. That's the vibe I'm getting where it's like this person's been thinking about it, but then it's like, man, life is short. Let me do this now. Because I'm, I'm wasting time just like hesitating. And if they say no, they say no. But if they say yes, then they say yes. And that's a big deal. How will this proposal be? What would this be like? Oh, yeah. The pentacles out here. Three pentacles, okay. So this person, okay, now this is where they do have a similarity to option one. Their similarity to option one is that they did ask other people for their, their opinion, their idea. But for some reason, I feel like this person threw caution to the wind. And they didn't even follow that idea. Like, whatever they had originally mapped out and planned, I don't feel like they followed that. I feel like they went for a more simple approach. There's something with the green dresses. Three women in, in this reading are wearing green dresses, long green dresses. Green represents wealth, um, nature, which all two of these women are outside. Nature, earth, um, money. And we do have the king of pentacles here at the beginning and we have the queen of pentacles at the end i find that very important that you have the king of pentacles in the beginning and queen of pentacles at the end counterparts it's definitely your soulmate yeah so this person had a plan and they're gonna throw it like eh. because all of a sudden it's like you guys are gonna be out just relaxing outside and it's going to make sense. Like for some reason, it's like this is a moment now, like right now, not some fancy restaurant, but like right now in nature, it feels like this is the moment. So a lot of you are them, either you or them have a lot of earth placements because we have a lot of Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, but someone could also have very strong Scorpio placements, okay? Yeah, this person's like, let's get away where no one can kind of, no one can see us. Let's, let's go walk here. I'm here in Jill Scott. Let's take a long walk around the park after dark or something like that. So it could be like a walk, maybe even a walk at the beach. But there's something with um nature, specifically greenery. So maybe not the beach for some of you. It could be, but this is like a lot of greenery fresh air yeah Let's see what else I can get very earthy I'm hearing moving in into much calmer peaceful territories and times it's like you know what I've got you babe they're playing share and sunny and share I've got you babe you need to listen to that song I've got you babe this is beautiful. I've got you, babe. Okay, what else can we get? It's happening in nature. How would option two's person propose? Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you. Act as if they are with you so that you will always consider them. So this person will be very considerate of you and what you your likes are and what your dislikes are. Some of you, this person could have like been dreaming of this moment before you even came into their life. So they've been waiting. Look, physical touch. That's exactly like the vibe I'm getting. Two people out in nature. And then he's on one knee. A tender touch can mean so much that so this person could kiss your hand. They could, I don't know, I, I see someone taking someone's hand and kind of like rubbing it on their face. Did, well, did that happen in the movie, the, the Titanic? Did Jack take Rose's like hand and kind of caress um, his face? Like, you know, someone can take your hand and put it by their face and kind of nuzzle their face into your hand. It's like they may um, want you to caress their face or they're going to kind of nuzzle their their face into your um hand or arm yeah so this is gonna be very touchy this person might even ask you to dance it's so strange like can we dance together and you might be like okay there's there's only background music maybe you guys have music playing 
in the background or um, I don't know, but this person is, may ask you just to dance with them. You might be like, we're out here in the public, like there's no one dancing, like what are you doing? And they're like, just let go, relax, have fun. That could be possible for someone out there, okay? But for most most of you, this is gonna happen outside. And there's you guys are like just taking a walk, talking, relaxing, possibly holding hands. Yeah, I'm here, I'm seeing a lot of like touching of the hand. There's a lot of physical touch here. This is how this person shows love physical by physical touch. Okay. We have love who you are. So there could be something with both here because we do have the Six of Swords too. So eight and six could be important, but this is going to feel like, man, for finally, we, you know, when you're on a boat and you're trying to see where you're going, you're in the middle of the ocean, you can't see anything, but it's like when you get closer and closer to um, land, you start to see things and it's like the excitement of, oh, we're almost there. That's what I'm kind of getting. So this is an excitement that, th that you guys are getting from each other. There's like a um, electrical current. Like there's some type of excitement that's connected to both of you when you see each other. You guys get happy and excited when you speak to each other. So it's never a dull time with you two. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things life has to offer. Okay. This person may want to take you on a, um, a cruise, you guys. This could happen on a trip. That could also be why I was getting nature. This could happen while on a trip. I did mention Titanic, right? So the, a boat, not saying that you guys are gonna have a Titanic moment. I'm not saying that at all. But um, yep, look, voyage, voyage. Look at that. Yeah, so this could totally happen while you guys are um, on a cruise or some type of yacht, a yacht or cruise boat on water and then you end up going somewhere where there's um you know like a nice land so this could be a vacation home like an airbnb and like you you have to take the take a boat to get to somewhere and then you you're there at this place and it's just so like so much greenery it's so beautiful so i don't know what that's about but let's see love this came out for option one Look at the pillars and the water in the background. Very tropical. So greenery and water is big for you guys, which makes sense. We have all that Scorpio, and now we have all the Capricorn towards Virgo energy coming through. Let's see. What, how will option two person propose? Inner peace. Look at the koi fish. Water and earth. The leaves, the flowers. Okay, that's beautiful. So let's see, this person gonna be touching you a lot. That's how they show their love and their affection. They're t they're, that's their romantic, their language, their love language is touch. Let's see what else I can get for you guys. And get some charms. we can get for you guys charms here's that holy spirit how will option two person propose Ooh. oh look you guys actually had the koi fish fall out so koi fish is a sign of luck prosperity i can't remember the rest but it could also be fertility as well i just heard meba reba reba <laughs> Reba, Reba, E-R. I just heard Eric. Now I'm hearing the Little Mermaid. Ariel and Eric. Oh, the boat. Ariel and Eric. Two different lands. So maybe it's something about two different lands, water and earth. Remember I kept getting that? Maybe something with a knife, cutting something. Okay. So, I'm, I don't know, I just heard Oreo. Maybe there's sweets involved. I just see you guys kind of do something on your own. 
I just heard Nola. We have Fine. I just heard Finmore. <laughs> they just said Finnegreek. So, Fine. Finer. Okay, let's see. I'm hearing Bender. Um, Breakfast Club. Let's see. Near. Something's near. Something's gonna happen, t like, very soon. Something's happening very soon. Near. Let go of fear. Let go of fear and pride. That's what I just heard. Let go of fear and pride. Both of you may want to do that. Um, that might be something in your relationship that you guys kind of work on. Like letting go of fear and pride. This person's going to get over their fear to um, basically propose to you. Bear. Okay. Or beer. Bear, beer. What else? We have beef. Maybe there's something about beef. Reef. Bean. Bee. Bean. Beanie? Maybe it's going to be cold. But why would someone be wearing a, a green, um, a dress, a long dress? Hmm. Beanie. Okay. Era. Beanie era. That's interesting. We have far. Far, we have fair. Let's see, we have been at a fair. I just heard CEO. I also just heard Fila. We have rain here as well. Okay, let's see which charms you guys have. We have B here, as in like a B. The phase, fairy, fairy phase bees. Hmm. You guys, this could happen towards um, kind of like option two, well, option one. I said option two, option one. It could happen like towards like the um, e afternoon, evening. You guys can still see like butterflies and bees flying, but it's getting darker. It may even drizzle a little bit. Yeah, the sun. It's like the sun is out, but it's going to start to slowly go down. So this masculine energy. There's perfume here, so you're going to smell good. They're going to smell good. We have I will, yes. So this person is, like, determined to propose to you. But this one is going to come out of nowhere. It's like, ah, well, I did have this whole, like, plan, but this just feels like the right moment. We have the um, two dolphins on top of each other. Well, one dolphin's on top of the other here. It's so many dolphins. I've had this little charm since I was a little girl, you guys. It's one of my favorite charms, something I remember very well. Um, I When I saw it as a kid, I just fell in love with it. I loved it. So technically, I think this came off something my dad had when I was a kid, and I took it. I just loved it, okay? So something with childhood, could, like I said, the Six of Cups. They're doing something that has to do with your childhood. They're going to incorporate it, and it's going to make you feel very emotional. Um, even with the perfume, there could, something could trigger you, make you think of your like your childhood. This is going to be an emotional proposal. That's what it is. It's going to be an emotional proposal. Why am I hearing forest? Forest. Rainfall, forest, tropical. Yeah, that's what they're going to be. Rainfall, forest, tropical. We have the koi fish here. What else? 
We have a zero. We have a bat. So yeah, something happening at night. And we have a, a family tree here. So when I say family tree, I think of family, bloodline, ancestors, expansion, growth, investments. Okay, one more. Cosmos, we have a cross here. So someone is really trying to step out on faith, cross with key, like their faith, they feel like they, oh, only hope from a walk to remember that song, only hope, look it up. Aries, courageous. Okay, so someone could be have Aries in their chart or just be super courageous. We have 50, we have five, change, transformation, okay. So I hope this is able to help you, I know. Um, it's kind of like random, but that's all I was getting for this option. Let me know if you like this reading. Please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. It will be a beautiful energy exchange if you guys liked and subscribed to this channel. It will greatly help me out and it will help me to continue to do readings like these. Thank you so much, and I wish you guys all the best, okay? Also, if you're still here, option two, remember this. Follow your dreams, and help will find you in unforeseen ways. It's pure magic on your side. All right, option three, you have the rose quartz. Feels like the music got louder for you guys. Okay, so what is your motivational card? What is your inspiration? We have listen to the still small voice within. So you guys could be turning down the noise to kind of tap into something that needs to be heard. Angels could be trying to communicate with you guys right now. There could be a um, that could be a message right now to turn things down so that you can listen. Quiet the noise, simplify so that you can listen and hear what needs to be said. The guidance that's being given to you. Cupid, cherubim angels being involved. There's angels involved in this. Help from the higher realms. Whatever is worrying you or weighing on your heart, but as well as in your love life. Okay? And this proposal, I just heard touched by angels. Heaven sent. Keisha Ko, sent from heaven. Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most purest, holy, love, and light. Please help me to give a clear, accurate reading to all the beautiful souls who chose option three. Please bless my viewers and protect my viewers. May they always know that they are watched over and never alone. And may they hear the divine guidance and wisdom that's coming to them clearly. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. How will option two's future spouse propose to them? How will your... Oh, you're not option two, you're option three. How option three, Holy Spirit, option three, my bad. How will option three's future spouse propose to them? Sorry, you guys. How will option three's future spouse propose to them? I don't know why I just heard chandelier. Like I'm seeing a chandelier, like a crystal chandelier swing. But they're also now playing with um, see a chandelier. It's strange. Venus. Ah, maybe that's why I got the crystal chandelier, like sun catchers. Like I'm seeing light shimmering off of like, um, what is it called? Um, like off of crystals. Like they're, they're just showing me like light shining off of glass and crystals, like this iridescent kind of vibe. Relational, emotional love, pleasures, beauty, creativity, the lover, the girlfriend. So this is going to be very beautiful. Um, the atmosphere is going to be really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, let's see what else you guys get. Nice atmosphere. I'm hearing nice food, nice drinks. So this is going to smell good. It's going to taste good. It's going to feel good. Where, wherever you guys are, it's going to be really nice. Okay, let's see. But yet it's going to feel a bit comforting too. Gratitude. See, look, you guys are going to be very grateful for this. Very grateful. Wow. Okay. 
Very heartfelt and grateful. Look at this magic. A lot of jewelry here. I don't know, I just heard matching set. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. Has that been done before? We're still in mat. Is there a session you guys in matching sets with jewelry? Expensive jewelry? Because I'm getting like the vibe of someone buys it like a proposal, like an engagement ring to propose with. But they also find like maybe a necklace or earrings that match up very well with your ring. They may also buy that for you and give it to you as a gift. So I don't know why they um, showed me that very clearly, but they did. It could be meaningful. How will option three's person propose? How will option three's person propose? Magnetism. Wow. There is an irresistible. There is an irresistible gravitational pull to each other. Oof. Okay. Marriage. Look at that. Wedding bells are ringing. That's about it. I just heard, going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. So, yeah, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen for sure. Um, okay, let's see what else. It's a lot of magic in this connection. Like, you you guys, when you look at each other, your eyes might smile might sparkle like you finish each other's sentences or you just feel like you have telepathic communication like maybe you don't need to say much you guys just get each other there's like a mutual understanding i'm hearing soulmate strong soulmate okay you how will option three's person propose they would have studied you they would have paid attention to the things you like so this is the type of person that pays attention to the things you like and they're going to use something that you like to propose to you so, for example, this would be like, say you have a favorite book, right? And you go to open it and it flips to one page and it has a, a note or a letter in it. Or maybe even a ring in it. And it, you know, in the letter it says, will you marry me? It's like random. But it's going to be like, oh, that was so cute. Let's see what else. Two of Swords, Decision, Choice, Stillmate. Yeah, so they could have been a little indec indecisive on how to go about this. Yeah, the High Priestess. Mystery, Wisdom, Intuition. But yet they knew. They knew. So maybe they had to step out of their comfort zone to do this. Let's see what else. Ace of Cups, Emotions, Intuition, New Feelings, All This Love. Strength. Power, courage, self-belief. So, whew, the line here. They're they're finally getting their balls. I just are finally getting my balls, like to to ask. So they've thought about it. This has been on your person's mind too. So they've been wondering, like, okay, when should I do this? So tell me, to leave this one out. When should I do this? How do I go about doing this? And so I keep hearing, how do I go about doing this? There's definitely like little baby angels around you guys. I wouldn't be shocked if um, this proposal leads to you like you two becoming more engaged with each other physically is what I'm getting. Like you thought you were bonding. Oh, but you're really going to bond now. So I just heard. So what? how will this person propose to option three? How will their future spouse propose to them? You as their muse, that could also be a thing, okay. So this may happen in a time where there's a lot of chaos in the world, is what I'm getting. Because you guys have like a simpler approach and yet there's people like around fighting and arguing. and But here you are at peace. Yeah. So... I feel like they're going to be somewhere with you, like hanging out. You guys are going to be out and about. And I just feel like it almost makes me feel like a, a date. Like, oh, we're just hanging out. We're just relaxing. Someone may even offer to take your picture, like to draw you. Let's see what else. How will they propose to you? 
Yeah, they may have had like a certain like indoor place, maybe even with like friends, but they had somewhere set up and they, they decided to do it outside where there, maybe there wasn't a lot of noise. So this could be a date, but somehow, somehow your future spouse, you guys are around people and I guess it gets too loud or just too much and you guys decide to kind of walk alone or to go somewhere um that's alone like that where you guys can be alone i don't know why i keep getting alone where you're alone alone okay this is going to be very powerful though because we have these major arcana cards Let's see what else how will option three's person propose i get one card at a time boldly they're gonna be very brave you guys we have considered your foundation look at how committed you are to love five yeah look at the house look at the couple and the animals consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love look at that like portal of love with family members a light yeah. The union of hearts, a love connection defies explanation. Hmm. This person This feels, how do I explain it? They originally had somewhere in mind. I keep getting that there is a place inside, indoors. But you guys end up spending most of your time outdoors or either on a patio or a balcony or um, porch. It's like one person having something set up and maybe they couldn't get you to spend a lot of time inside. It's like something happened and you have to switch things up. Purification. You might notice sunflowers during this day. There could be a light, light rain. Hmm. Something about the stars. Maybe this person studies astrology, but it's giving me the vibe that um, this person is going to propose to you guys when you guys are alone, um, when you guys are just kind of relaxed and talking to each other. Expressing your feelings, possibly some stories from childhood. In order to heal it, you have to address it and feel it. I feel like there's going to be a lot of conversation about life and healing and family. And because of this, this could kind of make this person think about, wow, where do I see myself in the next years? And most importantly, who do I see myself with within the next years? I'm only getting older. They're only getting older. older, And this is the person that I want to be with. What if somebody scoops them up and takes them from me? You know, they're thinking all these thoughts. And so, like I said, they probably had an idea for a really nice dinner. But they changed their mind. There's something in this reading that's very strong going like just going with the flow of things. Like... Let's just spend time in nature. Hmm. So your proposal is going to happen out in nature, you guys. Nature outside of some building that um, your person had for you guys, but they care more about nature. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I was going into a trance there. Like some sometimes in my readings, I go into like a trance-like state. Yeah, they wanted to just be be you and them. I'm hearing, let's focus on us. Let me get you a card from this deck. I didn't get you guys a card from this deck. What does option three need to know? What is their future, how does their future spouse going to propose? More than friends, see? You guys are going to have like a bond. A very strong bond. Where you just feel grateful for each other. 
This person is very protective of you. They don't want you to feel stuck or trapped in any way. And they don't want anyone to mess with your your relationship or your proposal. So they're very big on making sure it's it's really nice for you. I mean, a lot of chemistry. You guys have like a strong magnetism towards each other. Ooh, a strong pull. Sometimes it may feel more, you know, sexual than anything, but I feel like you guys have a very strong um, pull towards each other. Let's see what else. This person's going to be brave. They're going to be brave. Yeah. You're going to love your ring. It could be very unique. This person could have designed your ring, you guys. They could have designed your ring. So, listen. They had something set up indoors that was really nice, okay? Change of plans. They took you outside. And they proposed to you outside. But you guys are still going to go back in. And when you go back in, it's going to be really nice. Like, whatever they have said is going to be really nice. Very Venetian. It's going to feel good. You're going to be very grateful. I'm getting someone say, man, you didn't have to do this. Like, you went above and beyond. Like, this is crazy. And I just heard anything for you. Oh, that song, For You I Will. Who sings that? For You I Will. You guys put that in. I think I may have said that in another reading. I'm not sure. For You I Will. Look up the lyrics because I don't know the lyrics at all. But um, that that's coming through. For You I Will. And that has to be like a, a song from the 90s or 2000s. I, I can't remember. For You I Will. Okay, let's get some charm from your person charms all right option three's person holy spirit option three's person their future spouse can i get an idea of what they want to say or how they will propose i don't know why i just heard zeus i just heard xena zeus Z siri sarah zora zari kari Mia, Tia, okay, so there could be T, okay, so the setting, okay, you know how, like, people have, like, the tea parties, it could be something that's really nice and kind of, um, put together like that, it doesn't have to, maybe you guys are just gonna have a glass of tea, or a, a cup of tea, tea, okay, let's see, you guys have three A's, triple A, Hmm. Maybe something happens to someone's car. Maybe they need to get their car checked. Or um, that could play a part here. Maybe someone else is getting help. And I don't know. Something about AAA coming through with the car. Hmm. I'm trying to see what else I see here, you guys. Help me out. Um... Get some charms. I'm gonna get back to the letters. I'm hearing riot. We have riot here. Riot. Taze, riot. That's interesting. Let's see what else. Okay, so I don't know where this is, this, where it has a, um, the wind, um, what is it called? Is it a windmill? I can't remember where this is, it has the windmills. There's a windmill here, the sign of Virgo is here, practical, okay. We have inspire here, which is very beautiful, inspire. So your person saying you are inspirational. You guys have a blue rose. You have a butterfly here. A rabbit. I'm getting gum. Fertility, transformation, healing. You guys have the number two. 
You have the number 42, 4, 2, 24. You have the Eiffel Chow. Ooh, I just hit Eiffel Chow. Wow. And they say clam chowder. That's so strange. Eiffel Tower. They're showing me a lighthouse, you guys. This could be by some type of, um, like a lighthouse, a windmill, or some type of building that you just kind of stare at. Strange. This came out for another option. This dolphin charm that I've had since I was a little girl. We have a family tree here. So transformation. Um, healing expansion. So it's very possible that when you guys um, get married, you guys could have kids that kind of build on, help with your um, your legacy. Oh, that makes sense. Look, you guys. Tree. We have tree. And I didn't even realize that we have tree. Hmm. So maybe you guys are going to be near a tree. That's strange. Okay. Let's see what else. Flowers, horns. Someone could like jazz. Someone could like Billie Holiday. There could be jazz playing in the background when you guys make it back inside. Okay. Jazz playing in the background. You guys kind of like the uh, another another option I keep, I'm hearing forest, forest. Far. Fat Maybe Fat Tuesday, some kind of Fat Tuesday. Far, free, we have free. Far, free. I'm hearing um, tire. Yeah, we have tire here. Tear, tire. Tear, we have tear. Like tears for fears. We have fear too, so tears for fears. See what else freeze we have freeze so maybe it's gonna get cold and that's why you guys go inside okay that's what I have you guys for you I'm not getting anything else If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me out. Um, it would also be a beautiful equal energy exchange if you guys just liked and, and subscribed. It would be beautiful. So I want to read this to you one more time because I feel like this is important for you guys. Listen to the still, small voice within, okay? Thank you guys. I'm loving you. And I'm, I'm loving you. Wow. I love you and I'm wishing you guys the best, all right? We're moving on to option four. Option four. You guys have the tiger's eye, I believe, in your card, your inspirational message, motivational message. Says, express your creativity in a way that is fun. Express your creativity in a way that is fun. So you guys need to go have fun. Right away, they're telling me that this person is going to propose to you while you guys are having fun. So they're not telling me whether this is planned or not. But of course, if someone has a ring, they... Okay, hold on. This person may not have a ring right away. Because they're showing me someone taking string and tied it around someone's finger. What movie did they do that in where they took string and tied it around someone's finger? That wasn't a movie or a show. Because it's, they show me, pl like, something playful. Like, they may even, you guys could be out and about, and maybe they're, like, they randomly just get that, like, that pull, that feeling, like, oh, this is my person. And they know, they know, how do I say it? They know that it's going to sound playful, but I feel like you guys are going to be having so much fun. And they already know that you're the one. But this may just be the reassurance that you are. And they may just blurt out, will you marry me? 
Or will you? can you see yourself spending the rest of your life with me? You want to just go get married? Like, they may say something where it's just like, what? And you might laugh and say, you're playing. They're like, I'm not playing. Will you marry me? And you may pause and look at them like, oh my God, they're serious. And that, and you're you're going to say, yes. And then they're, they'll be like, okay. Like, yes, okay. And this person it has a silliness to them, a playfulness to them, that they may even go somewhere. Say you guys are out and about, maybe at a fair or... Maybe you're traveling. I don't know where it is you are, but this person may run into like a gift store and buy you a ring. Like nothing's uh, nothing serious, but like the, in the meantime. So for example, they show me a mood ring. This person might buy you a mood ring or like a promise ring, some type of ring that um, is going to feel like childlike, playful. It's going to be really cute. And I, I feel that you're going to be like, I, I can't believe they, they're doing this. Like, are we serious? And I'm hearing them reassure you that it's not the main ring. Like, okay, this is just for the meantime. But I do feel like this ring is going to hold significance to you, like importance to you just as much as the real ring. Because it was like in the moment. This was, it's almost like divine timing. Like you you went into this little store and they chose this ring or maybe they even a lot let you cho choose a ring. But I feel like they chose it. And, um... They just brought it for you, and they're like, in the meantime, here you go. Like, like, give me your hand, you know. This is the ring. So this one is kind of unique and different and kind of, like, new. It's not giving me a traditional vibe. Um, so you guys may have two proposals, basically. Um, so that's the first, but the second one is, like, the, with the ring ring, the real ring, okay? The one that you'll be wearing, um, you know, for however long you guys decide to stay married or for the rest of your life. So... There's going to be music involved, so there could be music in the background. Definitely going to be a nice setting. Um, okay, they just said that the, the the second proposal, the second the real ring is going to be at your engagement party. That's what they just said. It's at your engagement party. Where there's friends and family and there's going to be like live music is what they said. So it's going to be at your engagement party where you get the, the real ring. Okay, so like a second engagement, kind of similar to option one. But I do feel like yours might, your um, gathering, your party might be more um, like closed in or like on a balcony where it's kind of like something covering. But it's just, it's going to feel comfortable and nice and fun and relaxing. But I feel like you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to take the mood ring off or whatever this little like cute in the meantime ring is but when you see the real ring i feel like you're gonna be like oh my oh my so you may still wear the other ring like the the one that um they brought you in the meantime you might put it on another finger or you might wear it around your neck like on a necklace or something like that okay so let's see how will option three's person propose to them dear god holy spirit please use me as divine channel for the most pure holy love and light please bless and protect all the beautiful viewers who chose option three how will their future spouse propose to them, Holy Spirit? Please give us clear guidance and clarity. The magician, willpower, action, creation. See, they're very creative. Very creative. They have all the tools. They're just kind of like this spur in the spur of the moment type of person. Five of Pentacles. We have awareness, worry, and security. This person might have some, like, worries, some doubts about this. Or you may afterwards, like, okay, like, did I say the right thing? Did I do the right thing? You know, maybe I, I'm getting this person may even think, like, maybe I should have waited to propose to them more in a traditional manner. I shouldn't have just did that, maybe. So they might second think that. But um, they're going to make up for it. Like, I, I'm hearing them say, I want to make up for it. And, and I'm hearing you say, well, that was fun. I thought that was nice. Like it was real. It was authentic. And, but in their head, it's like, no, you deserve, like, you know, the whole shebang. So, they're going to be planning something. I'm hearing, they just don't want you to leave them. They don't ever want to be without you. So, this person have, may have some um, anxieties or worries when it comes to being alone or not having you. So, or it could be some codependency there. Just giving you a heads up. The chariot, victory, success, this plan is like, don't, I'm hearing, don't leave. What is that? Don't leave. 
How does it go? Don't leave me, girl. Just stay with me tonight. Is that how it goes? Don't leave me, girl. Something like that. So maybe they want they don't want you to leave them. Uh, maybe it's that maybe it's the actual night. Like they don't want you to leave them. Like, okay, stay with me. Um, yeah. Dun 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 dun. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, I'm seeing you guys like driving like um home, like both of you guys together, and this person has their hand on your thigh. Um like and you may even have your hand on, on their arm or leg. It just feels like you guys are like very close and like bonding. Like you guys are already have already have bonded, but I feel like you guys are gonna even feel more closer. Like, like wow, we're taking that next step. It's almost like you guys are in your own world together. You don't care what other people think. It's like it's so-and-so, whatever your name is, whatever their name is, right? It's so-and-so and so-and-so's world, and that's all that matters. It's kind of that vibe. Ten of Swords, Failure, Collapse, Defeat. So this is a total opposite of the Chariot. So I'm telling you, this person's like, okay, did I do the right thing? Because a part of me felt like I did the right thing, but the other part of me is like, maybe I didn't. Maybe I should wait it. So they don't want you to think that they don't think highly of you. Um, so they're going to second guess this later on. Like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, it could even meet, be that they mentioned this to a friend of theirs and their friend was like, you did what? Like, you didn't do like a big proposal or whatever. And they might be like, oh, this was just a spur of a moment. Like we just, this was authentic. It came up and I felt this way and I said it. And the person they're talking to might be like, okay, but you need to make it up by doing something big. And so it's almost like they took someone else's word for it. They kind of played into their anxiety even more. So, yeah, your person is going to be trying to plan something, um, a second event that's much nicer. So they could try to take time to save money or to put money aside and or try to plan on what they want to spend on, what they want to create for um, this second proposal. Okay. You guys might keep this proposal a secret for a bit. Yeah. You guys might keep this proposal a secret. There could be someone sneaky. I don't know why I feel like there's my people or either people or one person specifically that you guys are trying to keep this from. Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, New Beginning, Desire, Inspiration, Weakness. There's a lot of like past pain that's still being like um released, you know, healed, effaced, and released. Um, so when this person proposes to you, they're still releasing things from their past. But I do feel like there are people who don't want to see you guys together. So I feel like you guys are gonna be keeping this secret for some reason. Hmm. How will option four propose to them? Two of Cups. Look at that. Marriage, partnership, connection. So, yeah, you guys might be actually, like, technically engaged for a very long time until you actually, like, tell your family and friends. And then by the time you tell your family and friends, it's going to be at this, like, engagement party. And you guys are going to... This is where you're going to get the real ring. So... Yeah, it's almost like protecting your relationship from evil eye. That's what I'm hearing. People who are jealous. Or people who wish that they had you or your or your partner. Or both. Yeah. So, yeah. Fairness, justice. You guys might even get married quite quickly. Like, I don't I don't see you guys wasting time some of you might even go to like the courthouse and get married yeah you guys are really trying to just i'm here to make it official um i don't know um what, what the rush is it could just be that you guys just really want to be together like okay let's do it 
Um, but I do see that there's going to be a, a gathering, family and friends, some type of engagement party. So I'm hearing so people don't feel completely left out. But like I said, you guys are just kind of like in your own world that um, you guys kind of need to remember to come back to reality because you guys are just kind of like, um, they're saying like, almost like levitating together, like on a bubble, like just kind of in your own world. They're showing me Sandy and Danny um, from Greece. Remember at the end when they're in the car and the car just kind of flies, like it just goes to like into the clouds and they're waving goodbye to people. And that's kind of like you guys, but you're like already in your own world. But when you guys, when you guys get engaged, when this person like for this, well, you guys are already in your own world, but the second, by the second proposal that's kind of done in front of everyone, you guys are kind of like out of it. Like, you know, this is, we're, we're going into this. And once we get married, it's, it's just, it's us. Like you love your family and friends, but it's almost like you guys are going to just be like your own little community um together and that could be that can become unhealthy okay it just i don't know why they give me that but that's the truth it's like you guys still need to have alone time and have your own lives and have family and friends so you guys are gonna have to keep remember how to keep in balance um other you know family and friends other relationships besides the relationship between you two it's, there's other people that are involved in your lives so don't, it's kind of like they're saying, don't, don't forget to show love to the people, other people in your life. Don't, don't, how they, what are they saying? Don't neglect the people that are in your lives, the people that are, you're close to, okay? And they need to know, your partner needs to know that as well. Like, spend time with people that you love. So, disagreement, conflict, ambition. So I feel like this, um the way how quickly you guys are moving with this for some reason might frighten someone in the family i feel like this is like people outside of you like family and friends might be like don't you guys think you're moving like a little too fast um it's weird so it could be that you guys are already talking about you know where you want to get married and what week or what month and then people are like whoa slow down like you guys we, you guys are just now at your engagement party like you can just relax and take it easy but you guys can't wait to be married it might even spark some type of gossip whether someone's pregnant or you know is there something wrong with someone's visa or is someone pregnant like you, it could spark some type of conversation of okay why would they want to why would they want to get married so quickly like what's going on like and they don't, people don't realize this because, well, maybe they're just truly in love with each other and they just don't want to wait. Life is short. So, a lot of talk about you guys. It's kind of strange. So, yeah, I see you guys retreating like the hermit just to be alone. Like, you know what? This is our time. It's crazy how they gave us a little bit more information, like background on you guys. They didn't do that for other options. Okay, so how will option four's person propose to them? What messages can we get? Forever plus one. They were a secret. And they had haters. And they had speculation. There are people speculating. Why was he, you know, sticking up for her? Right? It's crazy because it makes me think of the jewelry that he got her. Um, it was a loan, though. But, um, yeah. Like, there were certain things that um, he had to give back because it was a loan. And there were certain things that she was able to keep. You guys, Pretty Woman could be your movie. He, She taught him how to have fun. And he taught her, you know, like a higher class like a, a higher way um higher way of living let me get one more i want it to be you i wanted it to be you so badly you've got mail go watch that movie that could also have something to do with your proposal oh my god they just said the movie the proposal could have something to do with your proposal yeah kind of something spontaneous and random and something that people question to me you are perfect 
It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. Your person thinks that you're perfect for them. Yeah, so you guys, your proposal is going to be interesting. I, I'm hearing it's going to shock people. They're going to pull it together. Don't don't worry. There's going to be family and friends that love you that they're going to pull it together. They're going to be there at the second proposal, this party, this engagement party. But I'm hearing people are going to be shocked that you guys are engaged in the first place. And then at the proposal party, this person is going to pop that ring. Pop out that ring. Um... adventure yeah yeah you guys are just like the fun option like you and your person are just gonna be like doing a lot changing a lot going for it a lot of adventures yeah following your own like inner compass your instincts overcoming challenges together overcoming obstacles together is what I just heard as well. People just, they don't understand it. They don't get it. It's really not for them to get though. That's the point. Real feelings. You share true romantic feelings worth exploring. See? Real feelings. And that's what people don't understand. Uh oh, look. Workplace romance. Bonds over a common cause. Strengthen romantic feelings. So for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, this could be a workplace romance, which could also be why there's some talk. Maybe some, you know, maybe it's kept on the low. It doesn't have to be. It's at the top. Friendly support. Fairies, guides, and friends are ready to give aid in your relationship. So you guys are going to help have some help here, okay? So you're not alone. You're going to have some help, but you're also going to have some Naysayers is what I'm hearing. So this person is going to tell you how they feel. Yeah, it's very playful. The way they're going to propose to you. Aries. Wow. A lot of fiery energy here. Initiate. Open the doors. Look at this. She's going straight to the door, right? Initiate, open the doors, assert yourself, take action, realize. Yeah, it's like he realized something. He took actions. Made me think of that sports car. He had a hard time driving. Um, so basically, some type of serendipitous, like playful, adventurous energy is here. You guys have real feelings for each other. People just don't understand you guys because... And it, it didn't happen the typical way. This love card has fell out for all four options, you guys. All four options. Scary. This person is, I just see you guys having fun. Their first proposal with the um, temporary ring <laughs> or whatever it is. Um, it's going to be playful and they're just going to blurt something out and they're going to mean it. Don't get me wrong, they're going to mean it, but you guys are going to be having fun and laughing and it's going to shock you. Blessings, yep. And it's just going to be like, wow, we're really doing this and you guys are going to have this, you guys are going to have an engagement party. It's going to shock the heck out of people that you guys are engaged. I'm hearing people might ask about the ring and you don't have it yet. That could cause people to be like, talk, you know, to talk to, you know, haters. And then at the engagement party, that's when you actually get the real ring. And then people are going to be shocked and talking about that. As well as, you know, seeing you two together. And just, there could even be an age difference here. There's something that's, that's something that is different about you guys where people are talking. And they're like, okay, are they serious? Like change. Mm-hmm. But I'm hearing you guys are going to start getting a kick out of it. Yep. Appreciate the moment. 33. Mass number 33. It says every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Yep. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Appreciate this moment. You guys are definitely going to appreciate each other. I'm, I'm getting like long gazes, like long stares into each other's eyes. Laughing, giggling. Just playfulness. Woo! 
Oh, whoa. All of these just kind of fell out. Oh, okay. So look, we have treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. See, love it. Love those who love you. That's why I just heard love those who love you. I just heard love yours by J. Cole. So that song could be important to your connection. Love yours. Love yours. There's nourishment here. 10, that's the completion. Hmm. Strong feminine figure. You guys, there could be an ancestor of yours that's taking like, just hear me out. If you guys are seeing birds, pay attention because there could be some type of ancestor that's using birds to connect with you. Especially yellow birds, like a canary bird, some type of blue bird, canary bird, or even like a red cardinal. But there could be birds that are trying to come, like send you messages from this past on loved one. So you guys see a, a bird, a specific bird on the first or second proposal. Know that that's this ancestor. Um, whoever this ancestor was that's close to you, there's some type of ancestor that's watching over you that maybe you knew as a child. Um that's helping you and is with you. Yeah. Something about in your hands. They keep showing me like how this is in someone's hands and this is in someone's hands. So it's like a memory. A memory. Hmm. So Either, maybe at your second proposal, there's going to be like a slideshow of memories. Like slideshow of pictures or something. Because there's something about um, memories ha being involved. Like sacred memories being vo involved in your, um, in your proposal. Things that you treasure the most. But it's like. Looking into the hands and seeing the past, but also looking into the hands and seeing the future. So th I, this might be recorded, your like your um, engagement party where the second ring comes out. That could be recorded. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Yeah, this actually says the only thing real is love. Another option had this, and it looks like ancestors helping. So, yeah, you have divine help. Like, even if there are people talking about, about you guys here in the physical, you have a lot of, like, angelic and ancestral help. So they see the bigger purpose, the higher purpose of this. Yep. Okay, let's see what else I can get for you guys. That's really beautiful. I like this one. Okay. How will this person propose the second time? <laughs> or let's see what else, we, what we can get. It could be a mixture of the first and second. See, look. We have the strength card. Here, you're just trying to bring the statue down. I find that to be so funny. But there's something about pictures and memories. And then we have them on a boat here. I'm telling you, look at how they're kissing. Isn't that so dramatic and beautiful? Like those old Hollywood films. But this is making me think of adventure. It's like when you guys are doing something fun, it could be that you guys are, you know, on a vacation together. Um, yeah. They just stop me and say, yeah. Whoa. You guys are on vacation together. Look at all these cards. You guys are on vacation. You guys are on a vacation having fun as a couple. And this happen. Like, they just say this. They feel it. And it just happens. Real feelings. These are real feelings. Yeah, the higher font. Come on. Look. The moon. And there's a puppy. They might actually buy you a puppy or a kitten. Oh, yeah. It makes me think of the movie. Um, Okay, Pretty Woman. He was afraid of the, being on the balcony, stepping too close. And both of these people are, like, both of these pictures, they're on the balcony. Yeah, Pretty Woman has something to do with your reading, you guys. It could just be the feel, the vibe, like the different scenes they were in. But, um, yeah, even this makes me think of the movie. So, 
Are you guys going to be like on a, a trip um, together? You guys are going to be on a trip together and this is when this happens. Look at how the dresses are similar, you guys. And her hair is up just like her. See? Isn't that wild? <laughs> wow. So you guys are going to be traveling together. And this is it's gonna be very rom very adventurous, fun, and romantic. It's just that they didn't have the ring because it just it just happened out of nowhere. Okay, it just happened out of nowhere at the time, and they meant it. It came from there. I think it shocked them. But it came from the heart. It came from the heart. That's what I'm hearing. Whew, okay. Like it's, this is gonna be romantic. This could be in a totally different country. Or state so wow forever plus one so they're gonna take you out they get you guys to be doing things they th th this happened at an opera so it could be at an opera or a gallery or maybe you're doing something like even, even more fun more active it's just could be the sequence of events during that day but wow you guys this is beautiful this is really beautiful you guys are just gonna have a ball and by the time you guys come back, I just feel like you guys are going to be glowing and just head over heels. Oh, that's the song, Head Over Heels by Tears of Fears. I'll always get Four Leaf Clover, right? It's from the song Head Over he Heels by Tears of Fears. So if you're one of those people who whenever I say um, Four Leaf Clover, this is my Four Leaf Clover, go look up the song by Tears of Fears. It's not the name of the song, but it's a part of the song. This is the name of the song. It's Head Over Heels. And it just came through. So that means that that song is important. Head over heels. Yeah. Oh, is the rock sets. It could have been love, but it's over now. From the moment we touched till the time had run out. No, I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen in the, in the, in the, um, in your relationship. But that song plays in the, mo in the movie when, um, she is on her way home and the limo's taking her home. And then when the limo is, taking him somewhere and then he decides to go to her and to climb to the top of her um her you know balcony and to rescue her like a princess and he had flowers and and um basically he was afraid of heights so for him to do that he overcame a fear just to you know kind of prove to her his love so that all of that means something okay so let's get some charms Charms. And it's super quiet now, you guys is reading. Yeah, I'm hearing lay a whisper on my pillow. Something leave a whisper on the ground. Something for me. A bed of silence in the bedroom. Something. Touch me now. I close my eyes and dream away. Something like that. I can't. Where are the lyrics? Oh, it must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good, but somehow it must have been love. Okay, so I think, I hope I, I hope that's how it goes. It's been a minute. Let's see. Tuesday, getting Tuesday. Lay a whisper. I'm pretty sure they say lay a whisper. Lay a whisper on my pillow. Lay a There could be a lot of lust here. All around. Lust? Touch me now. I close my eyes and dream away. I think that's it. Oh, you guys have a fortune. You outdistance all competitors. So maybe there are people who are like competing um, with you or with them. So someone could have had options. Jewelry, jewels, 
Jer Jerry, Sarah, Lisa, Jer, Surf, Surfboard, Surf. Okay, so maybe someone was surfing or maybe somewhere where you can go surfing. I don't know. Um, they still want me to form lust. Lust must be, you guys might have a lot of passion for each other. We have lust. We have, let's see what else we have. Luster. Um, I'm hearing flavor. Okay. We have Joe. Maybe coffee. Maybe someone's name is uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe someone's name is Joe. <laughs> um, uh, okay, let's see. Steel. Um, I'm hearing steel by Tamia. So that can have meaning to your relationship, too. Stiff one. <laughs> Stir. Stir, um, fluff, I just heard fluff, flu, maybe someone might get sick while on this trip, oh that sucks, flu, or flute, maybe someone plays the flute, maybe there's a flute being played, or a piano flute, yeah, flute, sir, maybe someone likes to be called sir, I don't know why I'm hearing, um, Okay, I'm hearing several things from like a like a this feels childlike. I'm hearing Jello. That's weird. Jello. <gasps> That's why I'm hearing Jello. Oh my god! They showed me a vision of this movie, but I didn't mention it because I felt like, what does this have to do? They didn't connect it. They showed me my best friend's wedding, which ironically Julia Roberts is also in. Oh my god! Like Julia Roberts was so cool back in the '90s and early 2000s. Like she was on one. She was just doing it. Okay, um, basically, My Best Friend's Wedding is such a great film. It has Cameron Diaz and um, Julia Roberts, and I forgot the other guys. What's his name? He has that scar on his lip. He look, His lips are really nice. Um, is it Matt? Didn't Matt? I forgot his name. But anyways, uh, in this movie, she, her, she finds out, I don't want to tell you guys if you haven't seen it. Please go watch the movie. Um... Her best friend's getting married. She finds out that her best friend's getting married. But she also finds out that she has feelings for her best friend. But he's getting married. So, yeah. Go figure. Um, but in the film, she says, you're, I'm this. And she said, no, you're this. And I'm, I'm, I'm jello. I'm, I'm, je I think she says I'm jello. I think she says I'm jello or something like that. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember, but it, it, it's a, something in the, something that's in the movie, I believe. I think so. So go watch that movie. <gasps> that's the song. That's why. Okay. You guys, one of my favorite songs ever is played in that, well, it's sung in that movie. They're, I think they're on a boat, if I'm not mistaken. And they're dancing. And he sings to her. He says, Someday, when I'm awfully low, and the world is cold, I will feel a glow, just thinking of you. could be a message for you guys that song as well as um i say a little breath for you yeah all right go watch the movie comment below once you have because you'll understand what i mean look you have the moon with the crystal here so there's magic in the air flirt you guys also have flirt here mm, she was flirting in that movie my best friend's wedding now, that is not your love story. I don't want you to get it twisted. It's not your love story. But I do feel like it has a lot to do with 
with what however this proposal is gonna your both of your proposals that is is gonna um happen like something about the essence whether it's the music the scenes um something like that could happen we have practical which is virgo here we have wine we have a four leaf clover didn't i say that i said it before we had it out here this is my four leaf clover we have the wheel the boat mm -hmm. and we have the star yeah <laughs> someone could resonate with be being a star seat this is a big key like something very important you have the crown someone's crowning you like you have the you crown what is that crown of my heart crown heart does Sade have a song something about your love is king your love is king crown in my heart your love is king something like that okay <laughs> see look the swan it's beautiful eight we have a rabbit fertility this is like a past life love. I'm hearing ancestors are standing really close. They believe in this. I'm hearing joy, joyful. I'm he hearing angels are singing. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing slurping and they're showing me like two people at an ice cream truck acting like they're kids. Like just very playful. <gasps> oh my God. Like they were very playful in that movie, but it's, it's, very playful it's like you know what this is just who we are people can talk you guys are like the quirky couple the couple that's kind of just like in their own world doing their own thing you guys don't care what people think you guys laugh when people when you see people staring at you guys i'm hearing duet duet juliet duet um there could be something about um oh is it 25 what is that movie where it's like the bright the woman she's been a bridesmaid however many times and they go and sing karaoke and they sing Benny and the Jets. They're playing, they're showing me that scene from that movie. Um, B -b -b Benny and the Jets. Yeah, so there could be singing involved. Yeah, because you guys are the only pal that I actually like sung for that I tried to. My voice is like really rough right now. I've been doing readings, but I'm hearing first. Okay, first, maybe someone's going to be your first or you're going to be their first at something. We have E.T. Someone might like E.T. Look how I'm getting like words all of a sudden. Joe, Joe, Joel. I'm also hearing Noel. Something could happen towards Christmas. The first uh, Noel, something like that. Okay, I just heard stupor in your, in your stupor. So someone could be into poetry. Um, I just heard Shakespeare and literature or... um. Maybe someone's going to be like wowed or having fun. Okay, this could be like a friend um, at the second um, e engagement. You guys have a first and second engagement party. How cool. Yeah, okay. I just heard star-crossed lovers. Wow. Star-crossed lovers. And now they're showing me um, the Romeo and Juliet uh, from the 90s with um, Leonardo DiCaprio. And is her name Claire? I forgot her name. Anyways, I just heard Sapphire, Stardust. Sapphire and Stardust, they also show me David Bowie. So I don't know what's going on here. You guys are like kind of quirky, unique, and fun. Oh, they're showing me David Bowie and Amon. Like they're a very unique kind of like um couple, very beautiful, interracial couple. Um, kind of found each other later on in life. Not saying that you guys are going to find your partner later on in life, but it's just like something that's unique and different and rare. Um, they're also showing me Heidi Klum and, uh, and Seal when they were together. It's it's something like you guys are going to be in your own world together, and I love it. Now, just a reminder, your card is express your creativity in a way that is fun. I feel like you guys are going to be creating together. Just a lot of fun together, okay? So if you like this reading, if it resonates anyway, or if you just enjoyed it, a beautiful energy exchange would be to like and to subscribe to this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me to do more readings like these. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining and fun. And I'm wishing you the absolute best. Have a good one.